So right here we have our standard common source amplifier with the resistor. And we were going to replace the resistor with a transistor. Okay, So we have this configuration up here, which we just called integrated amplifier 1. And now we're going to look at this case down here. So you see what the main difference is, is this one we had an n-type MOSFET and another n-type MOSFET. Here we have a p-type MOSFET combined with an n-type MOSFET. So we're going to not do this one this time and we are going to analyze this one right here. Okay, so the difference is, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the top one, let's put on where our output is, which is right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this one here, this top one here, with a resistor. Okay, so let's go to our equation sheet. And this time we are looking into the drain, right? So we have this configuration basically right here. So this one, you see, we're looking into the drain and the source is grounded. It happens to be on the top because this is a P-type, but we're looking into the drain with the source grounded. So when we go back here, we are looking into the drain with the source grounded. So that's just going to be R0. So when we come down up here, we're going to replace this one here with a resistor of value R02 for the top transistor. Okay, so now we're going to go back and grab our equation. So A is equal to minus GM1 times R02 in parallel with R01. So that's basically the resistance scene looking up this way and the resistance scene looking down that way. Okay, so now before we had type 1, we had 1 over GM. Now this is much larger. So this, this is the first time where we can't neglect our R01 and our R02 because you can see that they happen to be both on the same order. So let's assume that, they, that these transistors are the same, meaning that lambda 1 equals lambda 2. This means... And since they're in series, ID1 equals ID2, which means we'll just call this R0, and we will call this ID. And so now my gain is equal to minus GM1 times R0 in parallel with R0, which is equal to minus 1 half gm1 r0 so now first of all we said hey when we had the r0 we neglected it because it was really large well now it's really large still so we can get a very high gain without losing our headroom because it's not an actual resistor it's a transistor and so then this is our gain of this type of integrated amplifier. And this is tends to be called CMOS because we're it's complementary. So we're mixing N-type and P-type together to get it to work out. And this is called our type two.